So I have to say, I think this is one of the coolest updates we've had as print-on-demand sellers, honestly, in a long time. And I can't wait to share with you how I have been using the tool that everyone is talking about, which is Nano Banana. Now, Nano Banana is a AI update from Google's Gemini, which is essentially an AI generator for images. Now, with AI, I'm gonna be fully honest, it took me a really long time to get into, especially with photo and images for my print-on-demand products. At first I was like, I'm not using AI. I wanna create things on my own. I don't need that. But the more and more time that went on and I was noticing all of these tools, they're really beneficial to us as sellers to create faster and be able to bring our visions to life. And so I'm excited to show you how I'm using this and how, again, I think that this is a huge update for us print on demand sellers because what you're able to do with this saves you time and money and it's really, really cool. So Nano Banana, like I said, is Google Gemini's newest update to their AI image generator. And what's cool about this is it's great for graphic design, but in today's video, I'm showing you with mockups. Yes, mockups, and especially mockups for things that you may not have samples of or that are more difficult to create photos of. Now with print on demand products, when we are selling online, we cannot order a sample of every single product. That's not only time consuming, but that's a lot of money because we have different designs and we're testing things a lot as e-commerce sellers, right? So using AI to create mockups is a really affordable and honestly quick way to get realistic photos and images for your products. So of course you can use Google Gemini on its own to create images, but what I have found to be the most efficient way to do this is to do it into Kittle. So Kittle is an AI design platform. If you've uh, been subscribed to the channel, I'm sure you've heard me talk about it, but it's really cool for print-on-demand sellers. They have tons of templates and a great AI system, which I'm gonna get to. So I'm gonna show you how to do this using Kittle. I of course have a link below for you to try them out for free and give it a go, see if you like it. I have definitely switched. This is like my full-time design platform. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna just share my screen here with you and let's go ahead and get designing and make this. So I'm just gonna go, like I said, on Kittle and click new project. And I'm going to create the size dimensions for an Etsy listing photo. Now, obviously if you're creating for Shopify or whatever, you can adjust the settings for this, but typical listing photos are gonna be two to three ratio. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for this one. So I always do 3000 by around 2250 pixels, which comes up as like the Etsy listing size. And I've just been doing that for years. And then I'm going to hit create. And so now my artboard is the exact size for a mockup that I need. So this is what I find important to do this because that way you can export it at the right size. Now on the left-hand side, I am going to be uploading a photo of my product. You can either upload a photo of your finished product. So here's an example of this hat here that I have, which is a denim embroidered hat. Now key here, embroidery, right? It's, you can make mock-ups for this. If you do need a blank photo of your product, you can grab it from your print supplier on Printify by going to edit your mockups. And there is a download button and you can select transparent or with background. Now, even with transparent, it does have a bit of a shadow. I'm just gonna remove background. Now I'm just going to make this bigger to take up about the whole screen, okay? And then I'm going to select the artboard and hit create smartboard. Now, if you haven't seen this feature on Kittle yet, it is a part of their new update called Kittle Flows. And it's really cool because you can create hundreds of images off of one image to start with using AI. And then that's where Nano Banana comes in. So on the right-hand side here, as you see, I have a smartboard. There is some stuff going on over here. So we have describe your variation with a prompt. So that is how we're going to create our mock-up. We're gonna put our AI prompt in this text box here. But notice at the top, we have Nano Banana and there's a few different options if you click that. Originally with Kittle Flows, we we're using ChatGPT's image generator, which is fine, but I have to say Nano Banana just kills it with this. Like I wouldn't even waste your time on ChatGPT. I can show you why a little bit later on, but very cool. Now also with Nano Banana, we are using AI. So you're gonna need credits for that on Kittle, right? Nano Banana only takes 10 credits for you to generate an AI image versus some other options here, which 42 credits for the HD image and 14 for the regular ChatGPT image. And then 
Also, look at our timelines here. So 30 seconds used to be how quickly we could generate an AI image. Now we can do it at 15 with Nano Banana, and before that it was one minute. So we're getting upgrades, Kittle's on top of it, but being able to use Nano Banana directly in here is a game changer. So I'm gonna make sure I'm selected on Nano Banana. Now we need a prompt to create our mock-up, right? So on our smart board, I need a prompt. Now what I like to do first, and I'm just gonna show you my full you know, way of doing this, but obviously do what you want. Um, but this is what I find really helpful is I like to get inspo first. So I'm gonna look up on Pinterest the product that I'm selling. So I'm selling a dad hat. And I'm gonna scroll and see if I can find like some mock-ups that I like. Obviously a lot of these are just plain, which are pretty easy to create, but I kind of want somebody holding the hat or wearing the hat or looking cool. So once I find an image that I like, I can then recreate that using the AI. So I'm gonna go through here. Okay, this is kind of a cool vibe here. She's like on a golf cart. We've got this one of the girl like sitting down showing the hat. This one's the girl at the beach. We have one like this as well. So I'm just kind of going through and seeing what I like. I also really like the idea of this, which I think is really cool. This is a website. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to download this image and then I'm gonna go back into Kittle and I'm gonna go over here. And on the left side, if you didn't know, in this chat bubble, you can access ChatGPT directly in Kittle. With AI, creating prompts for AI is the most difficult part. If you can use ChatGPT to give you a prompt, you're going to save time and money than having to figure out what exactly you need to describe to AI. So very, very cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the image that I just downloaded and I'm going to upload it over here to ChatGPT. Once that's uploaded, I'm then going to type and say, can you give me AI prompts for an image generator to create this with my own hat? Okay. And then in just a few moments, it's going to give me a prompt for that. So now after typing a few back and forth, I said, create a mock-up of a dad hat held by bracelets, held by hand with bracelets against a textured white background. The hat should be centered in the image. Okay. So now I've got my prompt here. So I'm going to copy it select my smart board and then go over here and paste it. So create a mock-up of this hat held by a hand adorned with stylish bracelets set against a texture white wall. Seen should have minimalistic and modern aesthetic with soft natural lighting and details. Okay, so now I'm just gonna close out chat and make sure I'm on Nano Banana and hit generate and it's going to create a version of this image, okay? Now I have this image here for reference and with AI, you do have to play around with it, you know, to get the overall feel. Sometimes things come out great immediately, other times it takes a few tries, but with this being cheaper, I find it very cool. So as you can see, in just a few seconds, it made this image image for us and now we can adjust it as it is okay so now I can either download this put it into chat and ask it how it would make it better because that can save time so just going back and forth with these and you know moving it around so let's say that I want it I like this but I would like it to look better I'm going to select it and create another smart board and it doesn't delete that image so I'm going to say make the nails have a French manicure and turn the hat to be facing the front so we can see it straight on. Okay, so it gave it the French manicure. It also moved the hat slightly. Now notice something about this AI generator that is not talked about enough, and that is how similar of a photo it is that I'm getting. It is not completely changing the photo. That was an issue that I've had in a lot of different AI apps is that it completely changes your photo or design after you've already created it once. And like, I like this image. I just needed a few things tweaked about it. And that's what the Nano Banana was able to do. So I find that so impressive and also combining it with Kittle Flows. So now I've got a mock-up that I like and then I can continue and start again. So let's go back to the original artboard and let's make another mock-up. So now I can enter another prompt, okay? And if you're kind of stumped on prompts, you can ask ChatGPT, can you give me another variation, someone like a girl wearing a hat at a coffee shop? And then again, just adjusting, create a mock of a girl wearing this hat. Okay, generate. And you just keep doing this and you can create multiple different variations of your mock-up and then upload them to your store. And these are already sized to fit our Etsy listing, which is great. And you can again, change the size for Shopify or anything else. And again, just grabbing inspo whenever you need it. And what I love about Pinterest too, is when you select something, it shows you other stuff. That's like a similar vibe. So like if I wanted to create something like this, I could again, download it 
and ask chat to create me that prompt. Okay, we're getting somewhere here, but as you can see, it's not necessarily the vibe. So I'm going to do a smart board off of this. Make her feet be on the ground and not smiling, like more aesthetic, no people. And meanwhile, I like this image here, so I'm going to download it. So I'm gonna say convert to image, okay? And then now this is my image that I can take at high quality and I can hit quick export and just download this. Or I can also go over to the corner, I can select export, select the artboard that it is, and then I can download it by itself, okay? And now I have my image here that I can upload somewhere. Okay, so this prompt is clearly not working. Her feet are on the table. This is what's kind of funny about AI. So you can just kind of go through and keep doing this. I'm gonna do one more with the hat and then I wanna show you on another product as well. So check out these two images that I just made. I really, really like these ones. And what I think is cool too, is that I can keep going with these, add another hat or add another style or I could just download them as they are. And I think they're both really, really nice and really beautiful mock-ups. So if I wanna to convert to image and then again, download. So obviously with embroidery, it changes the game with this. And I just did a whole video on embroidery. If you wanna learn more about that or see me make more mock-ups, um, it's my latest upload before this. So if you wanna check that out. But now moving on from embroidery, I wanna show you how you can do this for some other more complicated products. And one of those that I find pretty complicated to make mock-ups of are these glass sipper cups. Now I typically order my own samples and take photos of them. So I really wanted to see how it would be to create one for this product. So I'm going to bring that in and do the same thing with remove background. Okay, make it a bit bigger. Not too big though. Smart board, do the same thing. I need a prompt for a cup being held up and in. Okay, and then insert, create. Okay, and generate. Like I said, I think that this is great for the more complicated products. I think if you already own, you know, mock-ups for uh, t-shirts or sweatshirts, you can still use those and do it the more traditional way of creating mock-ups. But I think that this is a really cool way to experiment and create more. So this is really great. I love this image. And I honestly wanna do another variation of it. So I'm just gonna say closer to the cup. So these ones came out pretty good. I wanted to try also another variation and just play with it until I get the overall aesthetic. So that's really cool. I think this one looks more real, honestly. Like if I were to put this for a print on demand product, I think that looks really, really great. And it took the same exact design. You get the idea. Like I just keep creating smart boards off of these. While I'm doing that, I also wanna show you how much better the Nano Banana is than the other AI generator that we had. So I'm gonna create a smart board off of this same image. And I'm going to put the same exact product that I put here, make her nails a French manicure, okay? Make her nails a French manicure. And instead of Nano Banana, I'm gonna select the one that I was using beforehand, which is the ChatGPT one and hit generate. And see how it already changed the size of my smart board. But I also wanna show you that, so see again how this kept the same image. It changed nothing because I liked everything about the image, just not the nails. So it changed the nail and that was it. Now let's see what the ChatGPT version does in comparison to how smooth of a change that that just made. Perfect example of why the Nano Banana is better. So see how this completely changed the mug, completely Completely. I'm not hating on ChatGPT. I use it for a lot of things, but I'm just trying to show you like how good this Google Gemini update is. All right, so after a minute, it is a bit better the HD version, but if we take a look up close here, it like completely changed the design. It did not keep it. So see that? So this is just really cool. And I know I keep saying it, but definitely something that you should check out. Overall, you can see how much this is changing the game for us sellers to create products, not only for the more complicated products, but as print on demand evolves and more and more products are released, there's going to be so many more exciting things that we see that are available to be printed on and especially all the different types of printing and i think that using ai to our advantage to be able to create mock-ups like this is amazing and also on printify we have the catalog where it shows products that are new and released and they don't give you a mock-up preview yet so that's a great way to utilize this and create a product so of course if you've used this tutorial and you want to check it out for yourself, I will have Kittle linked below along with a discount code because then you can have more AI credits and stuff, but there is a link to try it out for free if you would like to in the description below. Let me know what you think of this. Also, let me know if you're using AI in your print-on-demand business or where else you'd like to see me talk about how you can use it. I'm not going to lie and say that I don't use it. I think it's really great, again, as we're evolving. So any way that you want to see me talk about it, please leave a comment in the description below. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next next video.